Hi, uh, my name is Carl Good, and I'm going to show you how to upload, um, uh, export and upload a sound slides project to a uh, to the website. You know, we're going to use our our AFS space, uh, which is the university provided server space that all students and faculty have. You could also use uh, FileZilla for the PC or Fetch for uh, I think it's called Fetch Softworks is the website uh, to upload to. Um, to a website, to a to one of your own domain names, like a GoDaddy.com uh, uh, site or something. But in our case, we're just going to do a very simple drag and drop into our university uh, folder. So, what you first want to do is um, one of the things I want to make sure you've done is that you've clicked on Project Info over here, and that you've given your project a title, so that it doesn't just say Untitled when you're when you're done. And over here on the desktop, you'll see over here that I have a um, I have the uh, sound slides folder, and inside of the sound slides folder, all of the files that it needs to to, to be a sound slides presentation, except for the one that you're going to import put on the web. You'll you'll see that that something appears in here as soon as I click the export button, and uh, here we go. I'm just going to come up to file and say export, and it does it by itself. And you'll see that over here in this little folder, uh, this little folder popped up called publish to web. And in here again are all the pieces you need. You know the different uh, different image sizes for the for the video depending on what how it's being played. Uh, a different high and low audio. Uh, it's all about memory size, uh, about the size of the file. So um, we're going to remember that uh, publish to web folder. We'll be we'll be using that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. It also popped it open here for me, but I'm just going to close that. I don't need that. And I also don't I don't lead the sound slides project any longer. So I'm going to close that. Now what I want to do is come up to the word. Now what I want you to do is go to the labs and open use a Macintosh to upload this folder. Copy your copy your publish to web folder onto a flash drive. This publish to web folder just drag that onto a flash drive and take it into one of the labs. Go to a Mac lab. And then even if you don't know how to use a Mac, I'm going to show you. So go to open up, you know, go to the oh, turn on the Mac login and go to the word go from from the word finder. You're going to be, want to be on the finder. Don't be in any software. Be on the on the desktop. Go to the word go and at the very bottom you'll see connect to server. Open that up and this will probably appear there in, in the Mac that you're using. But if not, you want to type in afp colon slash slash afs.msu.edu basically afs.msu.edu and then say connect to that server now I've already typed in my my password and uh, my my login name basically you will type in your just like your email address your MSU email your MSU ID mine's good K and then you'll get a window that offers you uh, your 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 ID and as well as the campus wide AFS space we just want our our name so I'm gonna our personal space so I'm gonna go ahead and say okay open that up and um, you'll see that uh, in, inside, I'm going to click over here on on this. Uh, usually, a window pops open, but in this case, it didn't. It'll pop open. I'm going to open this up, and um, oh, I'm sorry, it did pop open. I just closed it. So you'll have four folders inside of that space. One's public. It just opens up like a window on your desktop, and the one we want is the one that's called web. And all we have to do now is navigate over to get two windows up side by side, and you're going to just grab this publish to web folder. And click on it with the and drag it over into on top of that web folder and let go, and it'll copy all the pieces into the into the your web, web AFS space. And then when you open this up, you'll see there it is right there. I have a few other things in here. Actually, this other um, one here called Goods. That's a, a one I made about my family just for fun. And uh, and you can just click on this publish to web name and retitle this anything you want. And what the important thing is that you remember what you title it and you remember exactly how you spelled it and titled it because that will be important when you're typing this into a browser and trying to point the browser to this exact folder out of all the billions of files on the web. So I'll show you both ways. I'll leave this one good goods and this published to web. But you know, maybe you'd call it maybe I'd change this to bullfight or something. It can be a little dicey and not work sometimes. So make sure you spelled it right. Maybe try calling it something else. Um, published to web seems to always work, but it's not very professional to leave it like that. But we're going to leave it like that for now. Now that we've done that, we're going—we don't—we no longer need this folder, so we're going to close that down. 
We will leave this open just in case we need to go back in there. Just leave that open. And I'm going to click on a browser and come back over here. And um, I'm going to uh, come over here to, there is what it will look like when I post in. I'm going to just delete this. And, um, and let's see if it's going to come back up. It's still going to come back up. So what you're, what you're, don't worry, what you're going to be doing is typing in msu.edu. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, type and show you. You're going to do msu.edu and then slash, forward slash, the, the tilde key or the little curly Q, which is in the top left keyboard, hand of the key, part of the keyboard. Um, you have to hold the shift down and type that curly Q. And then your student ID number. In my case, I'm going to type in good K, then another slash. And I actually just copied the word publish to web or I could have typed the word good here um, and I so but this is the name of the folder that I put onto my AFS space so it's just my ID my student ID with a little tilde in front and then publish to web now when I hit enter or return in the Mac I will get my sound slide show up and then I can play that hi last summer we went to the bullfights in Madrid and we uh, as a group started off in a very empty so you can see that worked fine. Now, if I want, now I could just cut and paste this link uh, on a, on my blog or something, but everyone will have to click on a link to see it. Uh, if it's not very professional, what you'll want to do is have, actually transfer this this image to your blog. And in order to do that, you're going to need some HTML embed code. Now, SoundSlides doesn't provide that, and neither does this. We're going to have to use a separate uh, kind. Of, they call it a tool that sound, sound Slides provides to do that, and it's called the Sound Slides Embed Utility. But let me just show you real quick. If I were to change this to the word goods, hopefully this will work. Probably won't because it's, there it is, those wacky goods. So you can see you can change the that. family name. is. Um, you can change that, um, change that name uh, to, uh, to whatever you want from publish to web. So that way it ends in a more professional sounding name. But now what I need is I need to copy this URL, this address. So I'm going to double click on it, hit Command-C, Control-C on the PC, and I'm going to uh, come over to this Sound Slides Embed Utility. And this is what it will look like when you're done. But um, prior to that, what you're going to get is just this big, empty, empty space that will look just like this. And you go to tools.soundslides.com slash embed. And I will have these links on our class site, so they'll be easy to find on the Sound Slides tutorial page. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that URL in there, and there, that address from uh, from our Sound Slides, and you'll see that it just sits in there until I click the word Continue. And when I do that, you'll see that there's our our Sound Slides presentation, and it does say a bullfight in Madrid up on top. The title it doesn't say untitled, and that it also has the embed code down here, which is uh, what we're going to need. We're going to copy this and then paste it into uh, a box in our in our Tumblr. We're going to use a Tumblr account to do this. I want you to try uh, start opening a Tumblr account so we could do it. And uh, the thing is, WordPress.com does not allow you to post uh, HTML embed code. Only WordPress.org allows you to do that, and that's a that's not the free version of WordPress. We're using the free version, which is .com. So it won't allow that, so we have to we have to trick it. We have to do it on a on another another blog, another place to do that. And you can use these keys down here to change the size of the video as it appears in the Tumblr blog. This is gonna this is 620 pixels. And then when if you do change it, you just click the word modified. But we'll do this in the next in the next tutorial um, called posting sound slides to Tumblr.